here's a word that's hard for so many English language learners. Girl. If you watched my video on the pronunciation of water, you'll remember that ER or ER sound is pronounced with rounded lips and tense lips. So you should definitely feel the tension, the muscles tighten in your lips as they round. And your tongue will be pulled backwards toward the back of your mouth and it will be all bunched up together and not touching anything. So let's go ahead and practice that for just a moment. Er. Er. Again, I want to encourage you to use a mirror. Look closely at my mouth. See if you can see where my tongue is, what my lips are doing, how open, how closed is my mouth, how's my jaw set. And I want you to look in your mirror to make sure that your face and tongue are doing exactly the same thing. Okay, now I want to do a little warm up with you with some words that have that er sound in it before we actually move on to pronouncing girl. Now take a look at these words. You have her, and go ahead and repeat after me as well. Her, were. Are you making sure your tongue is pulled backwards in your mouth? It's not touching anything? Are your lips tense and round? Let's try it again. Her, were, sir, worry, work. Now here's a little hint about spelling. You'll notice that ER sound can be spelled a variety of ways. You'll commonly see it spelled ER, especially at the ends of words, but you'll also see it spelled IR, OR, UR, and there's even other possibilities as well. Unfortunately, English spelling is not always so consistent. But just beware, you can actually hear this sound with a variety of spellings. Now, if you're having trouble putting your tongue in the correct place, I would suggest using a spoon. Take a spoon and actually push your tongue back if you're having trouble actually positioning your tongue in the correct position. So you can do something like this. I know that seems funny, but it's just something that you can do at home in case you are having trouble getting your tongue in the right place. It might be helpful to move it with something else other than just using the tongue to move. Now before we move on to the whole word, let's just practice the first three letters. Okay? Gur. Gur. Okay, so hopefully that's easy for you at this point. Let's move on to that L at the end of the word. What makes this word particularly tricky is that combination of the er and then the L together with that. The R-L combination is particularly problematic for people who speak Asian languages. So I want to talk a little bit about that L at the end of words. It's a little different from the L when it comes at the beginning of a word. The L at the end of the word is flatter in your mouth and it's held longer. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean here. Take a look at my mouth. Notice where my tongue is. L -l -l you can actually see my tongue coming through my front teeth, correct? And you'll notice that that tongue is flat in my mouth. L -l -l it's not just the point, not just the tip of the tongue. The whole tongue is pressed against the front teeth, my top front teeth. L -l -l and I'm also going to hold that L longer when it's at the end of a word. So let's put it all together now. Girl, girl. Let's create a few sample sentences to get you practicing. Here's a couple I created. I have a girl and two boys. She's such a cute little girl. Now go ahead and create some sentences on your own and go out and find a place to practice. Thanks for watching.